said as he entered the world, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And with your spirit. Well, good morning to all of you. We come together to celebrate uh, this Mass on the Feast of the Annunciation when the angel Gabriel speaks to Mary. It always is on March 25th, because March 25th is three months, or rather nine months, from December 25th, the birth of Jesus. As we celebrate this Eucharist, may we be aware of God's holy presence to us in each and every moment, and for any ways that we uh, decide not to listen to God, as God directs us in this way or that way, we acknowledge it and we turn to the Lord, who is the way, the truth, and the life. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede always in our behalf. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, it is not enough for you to weary people, but you may also weary my God. Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign, the virgin shall be with a child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here, Here I, am, I am, Lord, I come, I come to, to do your will. will. Holy cost or sin offerings, you sought not, then said, I, behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come, I to, come to do your will. will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me to do your will, O my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here, Here I am, Lord, Lord I, come I come to do your will. will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I do not retain my lips as you. O Lord, no. Here, Here I am, I am Lord, Lord, I come to, I do, come your to will. do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come, I come to do your will. A reading from the book of Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocaust and sin offerings, you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocaust and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Word of God became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town called Nazareth in Galilee, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now I'll give you a little key way to know some of the biblical names which refer to God. Uh, the way you said God was Elohim, E-L, would be the key. And so when we find biblical names like Gabriel, Michael, Emmanuel, which means God, and so on, all these refer uh, to God. And so the angel Gabriel is a messenger of God. He brings a message to Mary, this young teenager, and the message, as you heard, was God has chosen you, Mary, the God who is pure spirit, the God we worship but no one has ever seen. You will be the mother of God because God will take on flesh, and be a human being like us, fully human, but also will be truly God and you will name him Jesus, your son. Now, we kind of say, well, that's a great privilege. She must be full of joy. And, uh, but her response is, what God wills, I accept and will live. Now, there is a, a, a church uh, in a, on a Catholic college campus that is named the Church of the Annunciation, the feast we are celebrating today. 
And the usual way you have a painting of the Annunciation uh, is this, this angel kind of hovering uh, in the air and Mary at a, at a kneeler just in prayer and having this conversation with her like, oh, I, okay, okay. And, uh, but in this particular church, it's a very bold thing. I don't think I actually would like it. But what they did in picturing this Annunciation, the announcement to Mary that God has chosen her to be the mother of God in flesh, Jesus. And so in that picture, everything is upside down. The angel's upside down, Mary's upside down as a way of saying that her world, her established world, the way it is, has been turned upside down. And so this is uh, what ha was the reality uh, to Mary. Well, God and, and Jesus upset a lot of the conventions of the world. The way that the world does things was challenged by the way God wants the world to be. All of us are children of God. We have the imprint of God on us. We are not God. But this child born of Mary, Jesus, the Son of God, second person of the Holy Trinity, is a God that lives in our midst, lives for us, and we are going to celebrate in a few days the marvels of the birth of Jesus and of Mary in Bethlehem, that this immortal God, this God beyond all knowing, this God who is pure spirit, takes on human flesh, becomes a child born of Mary, is raised up, gives his life to us, and gives his life to us in, in such generosity, but also in challenge to the way that the world has set things up, of power over people rather than power being for people, and so on. And so, this marvelous event we are, we are celebrating today of the Annunciation, and soon uh, the Feast of, 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 uh, of Easter, and later on in the year, of course, we get to the beginning of this, this whole cycle of the birth of Jesus. But the child that Jesus was, born of Mary, was pure and good and gave his life to all of us and for us and is the model of how we are to live. And God so loved us so much that God in Jesus held to what is important and that upset powerful people and so that's why you see that Jesus born of Mary on a crucifix. For a crime, no. For being pure and noble and heroic and sacrificial, yes. God reveals in Jesus the immensity of God's love, which is a challenge to us and an invitation to walk in the way of the Lord, not by admiration, but by imitation and to let God upset our apple cart from time to time as God did to Mary on the Feast of the Annunciation. We stand and now we offer up our prayers of intercession to God in the name of Jesus. For the Pope and all bishops, may the Holy Spirit continue to outpour upon them the gift of a shepherding heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civic leaders, may God guide them in working diligently to promote the good of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all expectant mothers, may the Lord surround them with the support they need as they bring life into the world. Let us pray hear to our the Lord. Prayer. For all of us gathered here, may God strengthen our faith and help us to grow in understanding. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in baptism with Christ, especially Dr. Chin Yang, John McGuire, Gordon Olson, Tony Rafamola, Gabriella and Luke Zamora. May the Lord welcome them into his eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions which we mention in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we give you thanks and praise for hearing these several petitions and the many, many concerns for welfare of people throughout the world that each of us bring to this Mass as we lift them up to you with great confidence through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. To your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given us, and human hands have made, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Through this water and wine, and become a share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, of all creation, through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. The fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me, Lord, from my sins and cleanse me from my iniquity. And now let us pray that this often of ours may indeed be pleasing and acceptable to our loving God. And the Lord will accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory Be pleased, the mighty God, to accept your church's offering so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemn feast day, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake. By the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit, Lovingly, she bore him in her immaculate womb that the promises of the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim Holy, 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 Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth, earth are, full are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is, is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world to bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now we pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and to forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. That true peace comes from God. We extend God's peace one to another. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. How blessed are we to be called to the table of the Lord. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but only, only say, say the, the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. Be healed. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel. My, my Jesus. Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you, Amen.
Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May you have a beautiful day, and let us go forth now in the peace and the love of our Lord. Thanks be to God.